Hey everybody, John and my woodsman. Just thought I'd show you what I've been up to. Got a little tips and trick for you. I know, uh, like my the GSI cup, this canteen cup. You know, you, you get out there, you want to measure water because if you're making something, you kind of want to get it close at least. And, uh, I'm not one to carry a measuring cup. It's just that much room more it takes up. I already carry enough garbage with me. So what I did is uh, got me a hammer, got me a dull punch, not real sharp, just round it off on the end. Got me a carpenter's measuring tape, and I took a, a measuring cup. And I want half a cup at a time. I pour half a cup in there. And I stick this down in the lowest part of the cup. Get a measurement. Then go on the outside of the cup. Use my Sharpie. And just put a dot there. And then I put another half a cup. Measure it. Come out here. Put a dot there. I did that on this one here. On this cup I got uh, half one one and a half and two cups eight ounce standard cups and you probably see in there i used my flashlight and you couldn't see before because it was too bright i don't know if you can see that now see them little dents in there so it works really well um i used it for my mountain house my first time mountain house meal and uh, called for a cup and a half of water, so I just went up three notches in the thing in my cup, cup and a half of water, boiled it, poured it in, it was perfect, turned out good. So I said, you know, these old canteen cups are the same story. So I did the same thing, measured it out, put it in my vise. Use this, put it on there, give her probably easy, easy, good 10 wax, nice and easy, not too hard, until I got the indentation that I wanted on the outside. Remember, this isn't sharp, it's rounded off on you, it's not a point. You don't want to hit it too hard or too much, because then you put a hole in it, then you'd be mad at me. And if you screw it up, I don't want you haunting me real simple do-it-yourself thing so so now on this this one you probably can't see because the cups dark I'll use a little bit of light but you can see them in there they don't show up as well but in the daylight in in, in person you can see them real good so on this one I got half one one and a half two two and a half cups because I figured that's probably the most liquid I'd want to put in there, you know, to keep it from boiling over with the lid on it even, you know. So, then I took a scrubby pad, scotch Bright pad, where my marks were at, if I can find them here. And I just cleaned up, went and cleaned up all the magic markers as much as possible. Doesn't matter, it's going to get all nasty and dirty from the fire anyway, like it already is. But... Anyway, I thought that would make a, a good do-it-yourself project for a lot of folks. So, yeah, just a hammer, a doll punch, measuring cup, ruler of any sort. I like that one because it isn't so flimsy. It's more rigid. And, uh, yeah, it works out, works out really good. So, hope that helped you with that. I got a couple shout-outs. <coughs> SK Outdoors, Love's Adventure, uh, just, just made a homemade crossbow, uh, like a medieval, it's pretty cool, it's pretty, pretty powerful, you know, fishing, wood carving, canoeing, camping, gear, he's got some other miscellaneous stuff in there, concerts and stuff, but he does a lot of river fishing, and he's over in Wisconsin, across uh, Lake Michigan from me, <coughs> and, uh, seems to be a real nice guy so I've been watching a lot of his videos so I could recommend them to you and then Fernbark uh, his channel is called Morning Wood 
and he does a lot of cooking outside, hydroponic garden, canteen cup Tuesdays. Comes up with some pretty good ideas, actually. He does a little bit of camping now on day hikes with uh, Mark over at eCarbs, another awesome channel. Um, they live over in Washington State, I do believe, because I know Mark was just traveling over to Mount Rainier. I think I said that right. And uh, did a lot of hiking and driving around, sightseeing and stuff, and camping. So go check them guys out. I'll put a link in below. And uh, I hope it helps. I had a couple of folks that had some updates and thank a couple other people for some shout outs. And I didn't get mentioned. And you figure if I got 2,500 subs, you would think I get at least 20, 25 people to go over there. I got some good, loyal followers, don't get me wrong, I and mean, you know who you are. And, uh, but there's just some that don't pay attention or have watched their videos since they started, give them shout outs. Now it seems like they don't have time to watch my videos or comment to me, you know. Kind of hurts my feelings a little bit, but what it is, what it is, it's only YouTube. So I know my special friends out there that. I comment on their videos, they always comment back, no matter how big their channel is. And uh, anybody comment on my videos, I always comment back. If I can if I can find it or see your comment for my video, I guarantee you 100% I will get back to you within a day or so, literally. So I really appreciate all the support, all the friends I've made. Uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. Just love all my friends, man. All my subs. So, enough of that. I started rambling. I'm a little bummed out about it, is all. But, I might have got this uh, programming thing to work to make videos on now. And uh, I've been playing with it, trying to figure out how to use it. And I'm getting close. So, I've been doing these one-shot videos here now for a little bit until I get it down a little bit better. Movie Maker. So, alright folks. With that, I want to wish you all a super good day. It's hot. Sorry I got my rags on, but it's in the 90s again today. And our high should be right around 69, 70 degrees this time of year. And <laughs> it's not. Uh... Tuesday, Wednesday, it's supposed to get down to the mid-70s, so it'll be back to comfortable again. The humidity is just crazy. But anyway. All right, folks. You take care. You have a great day. And God bless.